So now I'm going to show you the um, the Tanto Soho. The, it's in two parts. So the first part asks you to use both hands with with the with the knife, and um, the second part you only use the right hand. And the second part um, is all in left foot forward or Hidari Hamikamai with the with the um, the Tanto at your right hip, okay, and your left hand in your center. Um, and it follows the same format as the, the Aikiken. It goes straight, left and right, straight again, but then right, then left, and then it goes into the two combinations, okay? The first combination holding um, the Tanto in a dagger style, so stabbing motion, making sure your thumb's on top so that when if it hit a target, it doesn't slide through and you don't cut your own fingers, but it goes through because you've got pressure. Um, and the second combination in a stabbing motion. Okay, let's get started. All right, so you start start with leaving um, the handle free, so you can you can grab it with your right hand. Yeah. Start feet together, hands by your side, and have it at your left hip. Then we go right hand over into hidari hamikamai, left foot forward. Then we come forward feet together, or feet parallel but in a ready stance, and turn the blade down now. And just in a, in a ready position, an active kamae. All right, so the first one is yokominuchi. We step forward, right foot, yokominuchi in a kesa giri lino, in this sort of angle of cut. Then we step back, change hands, cut with the left hand. Then change hands again. Then this time we come forward, with Kesagiri, that, that Yokomenuchi strike, but then if then slide forward again and come back up with an upper strike through that same angle. Then step back, left hand down, and slide forward again with that same angle. This is if, if they step if your opponent step back and you miss them, then you're coming back with an upper strike, an upward thrust. Then the third one is Shomenuchi. Um, usually not People who aren't used to using a knife wouldn't use shomenuchi, but Aikidaka or um, people of the martial arts would understand that the center line is a very strong line. So to make use of the center line means your, your strike is very strong. So we use shomenuchi coming straight through. So, th so when we come back after the third, for the third strike, right hand shomenuchi, left hand shomenuchi, each time we're stepping back to ready position. Then, but on the on the second on the second on the left hand shomenuchi, we don't step back. We just change hands, and then we step forward with a shomenski thrust. Okay. Now the blade is up. You'll notice. Okay. So let me show you that last one again. I go shomenuchi strike right hand, shomenuchi strike left hand. Grab, step forward, turn up, and ski strike. Step. Then step back, left foot forward, hidari hamikomai. Now that's the first half. Okay. Let me go through it again um, without instruction, just so you can see what it looks like. So we start here, hand, hidari hamikomai. Step up, ready to go. Turn the blade down. First yokonichi. Ich ni ich. Step back to Daddy Hamikamai. Okay, so that's the first half. Now the second half. Um, the second half, as I said before, is just like uh, Aiki Ken. Yeah. Aiki Ken. So first starting one, and two, etc., etc. So um, we tanto. We've just finished the first half, and we're in Hidari Hamikamai because we've just come through with this ski. Then we've stepped back into Hidari Hamikamai. Now, because we've done the number one, which is the ski, our first step is to the left. One, two, stab and pull back. Always pull back to your hip and a little bit up, have the tip of the, of the tanto a little bit up towards the eye. So it's a little bit more threatening for the, for the opponent in a ready position. Then step back to your center. Then we go to the right side. 
Oh, so, but exchange your, your feet, just like Carmine the other attendant. Okay. One, two, then back here. So let me show you again. First left, then right. Okay. Then change your grip. So from here, just let it drop. Thumb on top. Keep it at your hip. Now we're stepping through <clears throat> and we're going to stab down on an angle that comes down behind the clavicle and takes out the, uh, the carotid at the same time. So we come through here, up, coming down like this, okay? And in, not just straight down like that. If we go straight down like that, you're just going to hit the bone and, and maybe glance off. You want to come in. I know it's quite gruesome to talk that way, but we are talking about a, a martial application, um, not a point scoring um, endeavor. Okay, so here, one. Then the next one, we go to the right side. So up, temple strike, here. Then back to come up. So that footwork was the same as before, an exchanging footwork. One, two, okay. Up, one, two. And everything locks into place with, with the back leg. That's where the power comes from. I'm up, no power yet until now. Back leg and hand lock into place together. Down into each other. One, two. Then the next one we go to the left. This time, it's imagine someone's just coming at you. Or coming at you. Or coming at you, or coming at you. You just let them come, and you just let them walk onto the onto the strike. Okay. So they're coming, 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 and you just let them walk on straight through here, around the eye socket. Is a is a pretty gruesome sort of place to and soft tissue to go through. <clears throat> so here, one, and back to come. The throat is, is also another target here. Then we hit combinations. So we stay in our stabbing um, point and we do like we did before to the temple. Then we turn it over. Now just imagine that was temple drop to the drop to the neck, the neck's here. Now I don't use my arm here. I use my turning body power to generate the cut here. Alright, I've turned 135 degrees, then you imagine the opponent's just faced you, stab into the chest, jump away. Then we step back for one, two, into position. Watching again. So we go first off the line, temple, drop down to the neck, turn with our body power, into the um, chest cavity, jump away. Then one, two. So do it, and with fluency, one, two, three, and then three. Okay. The last one now, the second combination, turn it up. So from here, just turn it up straight away. One. And keep it at hip. Try not to do this and fiddle around with it. Try to keep dexterity to just turn it up, ready to go here. Now this one we code body stab, like number one. Then don't turn your feet, just shift. Shift to face 45 degrees behind, behind your left shoulder. Then step back leg and go through the face. One. Now keep the back leg, bring your front leg back to Kamai. Okay. Let me show you one more time. Body shift. Face, come up, then come on, not it. So you've just finished and you end up in Hidari Hami Kamai. Left, <coughs> right, <coughs> left, straight, right, <coughs> left, <coughs> combo. <coughs> Notice how it changed on the way. And 
Okay, so now I've put the two halves together. And let's do um, uh, the first half leads straight into the second half. Tanto soho. Come on. Yoi. Edge. So you can follow along with much greater ease. Tanto soho kamae. Yoi. Edge. So if you find that challenging, just go through it a few times yourself um, whilst in lockdown. Um, and if you want to join the Tanto Soho group for the for the demonstration, feel free to sign up. See you soon.